Now then, Mikey69 are here. Boom! Oh, you diddling. So, bringing you me playing on Black Ops again today. Free for all. I finish third. But, you know, it's a bit of alright, so let's not worry about it. And I thought, in the background, what I do is just fucking tell you what's been going on in the news in our area, seeing such a shittest place in England to live. Uh, the North East, which obviously we've got Middlesbrough, Stockton, Redcar, Hartlepool. So, a lot of shit goes down. Um, so, in the story we've got, how do you fancy dining in a cellar formerly used as a bank safe? So, a place in Norton, they're about turning a cellar beneath a shop, which used to be used as a safe, into a restaurant. Sounds quite quirky. I think we've got enough fucking restaurants and shit though. But, never mind. We've got an online petition to save North Arm Street and Eston Grange walking centre. Now, this is a bit naughty because everyone fucking uses these when obviously yeah. they can't get the doctors and shit. You just walk in, they'll give you a prescription and shit like that. Um, but, you know, everything's getting fucking shut down these days. Shutting all the good stuff down, opening pound shops, charity shops, fucking takeaways and shit. So a nice one, yeah. Um, I don't really understand what the fucking the thinking behind it is, how they're going to save money and shit, but never mind. Uh, so there's a petition, so I'll, I'll whack the petition and shit um, in the description so you can fucking sign it. If you feel like doing something nice today, I'll sign it just for fucking, you know, to live around the internet. I might use it in the future, you never know. And then, a lot of people who are from Borough or the North East won't understand what the fuck I'm on about here. But the Europa is coming back. Palm or power. Fucking chicken palm or. The Europa. It shut down earlier last year, but it's opening again this year. There's like a new owner and shit. Um, it was bought f from a London. Sorry, bought by a London teenager for 56 grand. And. Everyone thought it was just going to turn into student accommodation because that's what every fucker does around here. But everyone was just like, no, we want palmos. Chicken palmo. I'm sure if you YouTube a recipe for chicken palmo, you'll get one. Fucking do it. They're fucking lovely, man. Absolutely fucking lovely. But I think it's just a delicacy from like the Borough area. Let's have a look and see what it says, won't we? Oh, yeah, so the Europe has been on for like. 40 odd years. I remember going there plenty of times when I've been fucking smashed on a night. It's wicked. Mind you, you get loads of prozies and shit in there. But uh, it was always nice. What else have we got going on? Now, enough of the fucking the daft stuff. This is where we get serious. Pervert used Facebook to offer underage boys cash for sexual favours. So the fucking need of this shit. Can't stand fucking perverts. Patrick Thornton was described as not of the brightest young men when he was offering up the 700 quid. What was he fucking doing here? He contacted them via Facebook and offered them money for sexual acts. He made one request 15 times and offered amounts up to 700 quid. So, just a fucking daft perv. I say daft, it was fucking sick perv. Offering young lads 700 quid to fucking want off for him. Maybe shove stuff up their ass, fuck knows. I haven't read all of this yet, but I'm guessing he might get off because all the judges are fucking pervs, as you know. <laughs> so let's have a look. He carried on his activities and propositioned five boys, ignoring warnings from a victim and police. And he got arrested and he carried on doing it. What the fuck? He asked his victims to keep it a secret, not to say anything. What the fuck? It must have been highly distressing for them. 15 minutes from later. The court was told Thornton proposed a sexual act to one boy 15 times and only stops when the boy said he'd report them to the police. And let me guess, he just kept fucking doing it. He offered another lad 200 quid for sexual activity. But the lad told his parents, well done. If you ever get any shit like this, boys or girls, fucking tell your parents. 
go to the lobby. Don't be fucking letting perverts like this fucking ruin your lives and shit. In the police interview, oh, he continued offering a third boy 300 quid for a sexual act. And he was arrested again. He was bailed only to communicate with a fourth boy and offer him 40 quid for sexual activity. Then raising the offer to 700 quid. What the fuck? Thornton also confessed to making similar advances to a fifth boy who refused to be interviewed by the police. The boys, oh, so you can't be named for legal reasons, didn't do it, which is fucking spot on. Don't ever do shit like that. Thornton lived in High Grange Avenue in Billingham, and he wants to go around and fucking do him in. He admitted five counts of inciting a child to engage in sexual activity. What, did he get anything? Uh, blaming it on booze. He said a probation officer and a psychiatrist believed that crimes would not have been committed if it wasn't for alcohol. He was diagnosed with learning difficulties from an early age and ex inexperienced with romantic and sexual relationships. Judge Morris jailed Thornton for two years and gave him five years sexual offences. Yeah, in there, so he did get sent down for two years. But someone says that he won't fucking learn. What else have we got? I think that's about it for the whole fucking area. Oh no, this lad, he bet on Borough to win the championship. Uh, and he stands to win six grand, but he can cash out the 3,888 quid at the moment. Should he do it? I'd just go for the six grand, mate. Borough are going to win the fucking title. Don't you worry about it. I hope you enjoy the fucking the video. I'll put all the fucking links and shit in the description so you can check out the story so you know I'm not fucking lying. And, uh, okay. See you later. Ruff.